Welcome to Checking In at SEA. My name is Perry Cooper. We're in the behind the scenes spot of our Sea Concourse Expansion or CCE project. We're here with Adam Olson, who's our, one of our project managers here for the project. Number one, give people an idea of where we actually are compared to how this may be for them. I mean, normally this is covered by a construction wall, right? How would they know what's behind what? If you walk along Concourse C and D from the central terminal, you'll see a fairly large, colorful construction barrier. Um, that indicates that our project's behind it. And what we've done is come into the building and gone up to the brand new mezzanine level. Excellent. So a lot of great scaffolding here. There's a lot of cool stuff that's going on inside. We want to highlight one in particular. So it's right behind us here, which is called the folding facade window wall. Number one, we love the name. Number two, what exactly is a folding facade? We see it here in this kind of jagged look to it from the outside. What's it do? Folding facade is really just an architectural term that describes how it looks. Uh, our architects actually came up with it. Windows are electrochromic. Uh, what that means is they tint when the sun hits them and they get lighter when there's no sun on them. Kind of like our sh sunglasses maybe so many people have. Absolutely. And what we've done is we've taken uh, advantage of the uh, where we're sitting. So when the sun's rising or coming up in the south over here, um, this side of the, the folded facade will tint. But the other side that's facing west will still allow sun through. So it reduces glare for people that are traveling, makes a more comfortable environment, but it also lets natural light in so we don't have all the light fixtures working. Uh, the other thing it does is it takes a load off of our HVAC equipment, allowing us to more easily cool uh, with less demand because we are blocking the sun um, at its brightest points. The third thing it does is, is really more architectural and that's it simulates a forest. So uh, as they lighten and darken um, and the sun comes in, it'll give you that visual feel like you're walking through trees. And that goes along with kind of our theme as well, too, for the Northwest. We're going to have a tree inside this sea concourse. And then almost kind of that sitting area space that we're going to have in the grandstand, too. And now with that, that's also an example of a lot of different sustainability elements we have in here. What are some of those things that uh, come together for this project? Uh, Sustainability-wise, uh, the building is going to be all electric. We're not going to have any gas. Even our tenants who are at several restaurants, they're going to be required to have all electric equipment. On the top of the building, we have a complete solar array that's going to provide between 12 and 15 percent of the power for the building. So that's going to be the first of its kind uh, at SEA. That's one of those cool elements in this project that we're going to highlight as we continue to get this finished. Overall, we're looking for this to be finished about when? Uh, we're looking to finish construction in May of 2026. Um, there may be some time after that to get tenants up and running, but we're shooting to be ready for World Cup. Thanks for your time, Adam, for showing us what we've got here for this different uh, unique element. And we've got other things that are coming for the future as well to highlight in our construction projects and our upgrade SEA. Keep an eye on our social media channels and for more information and checking in at SEA.